When it comes to getting your message across and connecting with your audience, storytelling is one of the most powerful tools available. So much so that all we need to hear is, let me tell you a story, and our ears perk up, our guard goes down, and we become more receptive and more engaged. And that's why on today's episode, we're talking all about marketing storytelling, and I give you my best tips on exactly where to start. Hello and welcome, my name is Adam Earhart and you're watching The Modern Marketing Show, where we take different marketing tactics, tools, tips, and strategies and break them down into bite-sized, actionable clips that you can use to immediately take your business to the next level. When it comes to getting your message across and building trust and connection with your customers, storytelling is one of the most powerful tools available. Savvy marketers and business owners know this, but many still don't fully understand or appreciate just how powerful storytelling really is. Or even worse, they feel like they don't have a story to tell at all, which is a shame because everyone has a story to tell. Now I was going to give you a long drawn out story just to prove my point, but you're busy. So let's cut to the chase and get right to it. Stories sell, and that's a true story. They build trust, allow you to inject your company values, missions, and services, and capture attention like nothing else. So you want to use them everywhere you can. In his book, Sell with a Story, author Paul Smith wisely suggests that you use stories to introduce yourself and your business, counter and address any objections, add value to your customers, bring otherwise boring data or numbers to life, and so much more. But if you're brand new to storytelling, this can seem kind of like an overwhelming place to start, which is why I like to suggest two simple stories that anyone can tell, which will immediately help you improve your marketing capital and results. The founder story and the client success story. There's something strangely enticing about a story about a person. Not a company, but an actual human being. Why? Because it's a whole lot easier to relate to the challenges, victories, failures, fears, or tragedies of another person than to a faceless, dare I say soulless, corporation. And no matter what business you're in, the way it started and what it stands for today is likely a very interesting story. Even if it's simple. Because simple is relatable, and simple can sell. And I've seen time and time again that with a little digging and a little effort, you'll be more than able to pull out a few inspirational nuggets, polish them up, and turn them into pure storytelling gold. If you're brand new to storytelling, then the founder story is a great place to start. More than likely, your customers are interested in how it all came to be, and by sharing the story, you set yourself apart from the masses as a more likable and relatable brand and business. Once you've got your founder story down, it's time to move on to the next one, the client success story, also known as the not boring case study. A client success story is really nothing more than the story around one of your clients or customers using your product or service and getting good results with it. That's it. Here's a simple client success story framework to help get you started. Number one, start with where your customer was before they found you. For example, here's where you want to introduce their problem or pain. Number two, introduce your product, service, solution, and whatever it is that you did for them. And lastly, number three, show how much happier, better off, less stressed, or more profitable they are now thanks to their work with you. That's it. If you need some additional inspiration, ask to talk with any of your customers and jot down some notes or record the conversation. The words they use to describe their pain or frustrations and how your business solved it is pure storytelling gold. And don't be afraid to use their words verbatim, as the odds are good that other customers feel the exact same way. So what's your story? How did you end up where you are, doing what you do, and why do you do it? If you're up for the challenge, in the comments section below, tell me your story in 300 words or less and let me know what you do, why you do it, and how you ended up doing what you do. Done! Your very first story. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. If you'd like more content like this, then head over to adamairhart.com and sign up for the Modern Marketing Newsletter because this is where I share my best tips, tricks, and strategies that I don't share anywhere else. Take care for now, and I'll catch you next time on the Modern Marketing Show.